nature has its own ways to replenish its resources. If we do not interfere, then they will continue and the cycle will continue. Balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide will continue, water will keep getting replenished and nitrogen will also keep moving in a cycle. This cyclic movement is called biogeochemical cycles. Now, first of all let us take what happens in the case of water cycle. In the case of water cycle what we find is that from the sources of water like river, sea and other water bodies water is constantly evaporating. So, there is evaporation. There is also evaporation from the surface of soil because soil also has moisture. So, there is also from this is the surface, this is river, from sea also water is going up. Then there are trees, small grasses, from everywhere there is loss of water and this loss of water is called transpiration. As water evaporates, it forms clouds. How are water drops formed? You see a sand particle or a dust particle acts like a nucleus and around this water collects and we get a water droplet. When the water droplet size increases, then it comes down as rain. So, whatever went up came back as rain. Some of it went to ground water, ground water, some went to water bodies and some was absorbed by plants and the cycle goes on. This is what is water cycle. Simple process of evaporation and condensation evaporation through normal evaporation and transpiration and condensation in the form of rain. Sometimes when it is very cold then water freezes in air itself and then it comes as snow or hail. So, all the same water is coming back to us unless we have not polluted it and made it an acid rain. 